Ladies and gentlemen, as we enter the 2022 Major League Baseball season, it's pretty well a consensus that the Toronto Blue Jays not only has probably the best lineup in baseball, they have the best mixture of young and uh, experienced players probably in Canadian baseball history since the back-to-back -back World Series of the early uh, 1990s. Despite the fact five, six years ago with Donaldson, um, uh, Bautista, and Carcio, uh, from top to bottom, this team is loaded. Now, there was a little bit of a movement this week. We knew that a certain player was either heading out of Toronto or is going to be riding the bench for most of the season because there's really no reason to play him in the outfield anymore with George Springer already in the lineup as an outfielder in DH. Now, Randall Gritchick, who we got from St. Louis a couple of years ago for uh, two uh, lower-range uh, prospects and players, was traded uh, Thursday to the Colorado Rockies. Now, according to published reports, especially uh, on TSN and on Sportsnet, the Toronto Blue Jays reworked their bench Thursday by sending right-handed hitting Randall Grichek. They got highly regarded prospect, uh, outfield prospect, Ramiel Tapia, who who's a left-handed batter, and minor leaguer uh, Adrian Pinto, a very up-and-coming uh, prospect. year old who has played 266 of his 329 major league games in left field. He joins Kevin Bijou and Reese McGuire as the only lefty bats currently expected to be on the opening day roster, although non-roster invited Greg Bird, him of the Monster Charlie Montoya options for speed and defense. and uh, the Blue Jays are going to pay most of Grichek's salary with Colorado. Now, uh, Grichek should do well at Coors Field because of the hitter at ballpark. Uh, RBI guy uh, in a number of years. Now, uh, Tapia is, is a unique prospect because last year in the uh, in minor league play, he stole a, 20, a base in 26 tries while batting 273 over 133 uh, games. Excuse me. Uh, he's a platoon advantage player because he can play uh, both sides. Now, uh, what you lose with uh, Grichek, again, uh, a good teammate, a good uh, overall presence in Toronto, and he became a household name. He was kind of mired in St. Louis with the, uh, what he called the, the team concept there, but in Toronto, he was well-liked by the fans. But let me put this in perspective for you, ladies and gentlemen. Okay. Danny Jansen behind the plate. Guerrero, Biggio, Bichette, Chapman. G uh, Guriel, Springer, Hernandez. Uh, plus uh, Bird on DH, Greg, Brett Gardner, uh, whoever uh, whoever uh, uh, is called to play. You can rotate like crazy. Can you imagine, ladies and gentlemen, that is a potential, each one of those players' potential, well, most of them anyway, of hitting 20 to 30 home runs this year. So if you do uh, rough math on that, we're looking at between 240 and 300 home runs for Toronto this year. The only thing that uh, the catching position is more of a, more of a, a workman-like thing. Although Jansen has some power and Reese has some power, but uh, Alejandro Kirk, they can keep him as a DH as well. He's your number three catcher. So uh, Kirk is in the mix. So right now, uh, Toronto has... 15 batters, really, including some of the experienced players are going to be looking at this year. And I like the way Bird is playing. 
in the, the preseason. And don't forget, there's a whole bunch of prospects in the minor leagues that are ready to go. And there's a junior version of Guerrero, you know who that is. But Randall Grichek, we wish we thank him for his service in Toronto. A very, very well-respected player. He's good with the media, good with the fans. But like I said, there's no room for him. He's the number 10 person at the table, and there's only nine seats. So ladies and gentlemen, if you like what we're doing here with our Blue Jay podcast, let us know with a like, comment, subscribe. And don't forget, I call them the kids, and 2022 is going to be a year of the kids. I don't know if we're going to win a World Series, but if everything goes together, if everybody stays healthy, uh, it's going to be interesting. And they're going to steal a lot of bases this year. This is something new. But Vladimir Guerrero last year, hitting only 50 home runs, he could have hit 60. If Tiasco was on, he, he could have a big season too. And uh, I love I love Guriel in the outfield. I love Guriel at any position because he is sort of like if Cesar Geronimo had a home run uh, bat and he got a little bit of Clemente going on. But there's another that's another thing about Toronto. They love the Latino players, as you as you all know. So, ladies and gentlemen, if you like what again like what we're doing here, give us a like, comment, subscribe, and check our archives for various other Blue Jay podcasts we've done over the short period. Thanks for listening. Bye.